guys, what's up? It's Kaylee, and today I have a new haul video for you guys. Sort of some spring, summer pickups, although I must admit that not all of these are the most summery items. I actually got a lot of comments on my last video, which was an outfits video, and maybe I shouldn't have titled it Summer Outfits, but they were outfits that I was wearing during the summertime, but I guess I'm just kind of someone that wears whatever I want regardless of how warm or cold it is outside. What I'm about to show you is what I've been wearing this summer thus far and probably what I will continue to wear. But before we get started with that, I wanted to share with you guys one of my best online shopping tips for saving money and time. Recently, I've been using a service called ShopTagger, and I guess you can kind of think of it as a personal shopping service. It basically allows you to group all of your favorite items, anything you're necessarily considering buying, or maybe just anything you like and you might be thinking, oh, maybe this is gonna go on sale soon, or you don't wanna pay the price for it right now. ShopTagger tracks when there are price changes on your favorite pieces, or if something is about to run low in stock, they'll let you know. Or if something comes back into stock that you sort of missed out on, they will also send you notifications. I'll have my account linked down below so you guys can see all of the items that I have my eye on right now. But I wanted to share something that I recently bought, kind of getting into the haul video. Some of you guys probably saw this in my last video. And this is the Balenciaga Tool Shoulder Bag. And this is actually an item that I have listed in my ShopTagger account right now. This is something I purchased on sale, which was amazing because, you know, bags can get pretty pricey. It's actually dropped even lower on sale on Barney's after I bought it. So if you guys are interested in this bag, it's probably the perfect time to do it. I'll probably be doing a separate video on this soon, maybe a what's in my bag video, something of the sort, but this is my new baby it's absolutely beautiful i never really imagined myself purchasing a non-black bag at this time in my life but i'm really glad that i branched out of my comfort zone and purchased this because i've been able to style it with pretty much any outfit i've been wearing and it's just been a great piece to play around with but i will have shop tag your link down below along with my wish list so you guys can check it out whether you're buying something such as a luxury bag or maybe you're shopping for furniture i really think that shop tagger can help you out oh i forgot to mention that they also have a mobile app i find it's really great for monitoring sales the next thing i have is a hoodie again kind of a non summary piece but I get a lot of questions about what hoodies I wear so I thought I would include it in this video so this is a champion hoodie I actually bought this on eBay I'll have links to all of the items that I'm gonna show you guys in the description box down below but I got this for around $26 shipped and it's super comfy this is not the reverse weave champion hoodie and I guess my main complaint is that it does get really pilled after a lot of wear I actually wore one of Avery's hoodies for a long time and it's absolutely disgusting. Maybe I'll insert a shot of it to show you how these kind of get after wear. But they're very cozy. I get a size large. I also get questions about that a lot because I like them to fit pretty oversized. Next, I have a pair of jeans and a tank top from Redone. Maybe you guys have heard of them. Basically what they do is they remake Levi's. They also do tank tops and like champion sweatshirts as well. It's sold at luxury retailers such as Barney's and they actually reached out to me and offered to send me a pair of jeans and I also am gonna have a coupon code for you guys so I'll have that down below if you guys are interested in purchasing but I got these really cool two-tone distressed jeans and I don't have a pair of light wash jeans right now because I sold my other pair on Depop because they just didn't fit me anymore but I'm really excited to style these. And then I also got just a plain white tank top, just a little ribbed thing. As you can tell, it's so small, but it definitely stretches out. And I don't have one of these either. I have quite the amount of secondhand pieces and three pieces I'm about to show you Avery actually got for me. So thanks, Avery. Thought I would show them anyways. So the first item is this undercover skirt. If I can find links to any of this as well, I will have it down below. But I don't know if it's coming up on camera. I wore this in a recent outfits video as well, but it's basically a t-shirt that's been remade into a skirt, which I thought was so cool. Then he also grabbed me this Rick Owens dress, which kind of looks 
like a trash bag on camera, I think, but it's really beautiful on. It has a great shape to the back. I'm gonna try to insert pictures or try this stuff on for you guys so you can see what it actually looks like. And then another Rick Owens piece is this beautiful black asymmetrical drapey top. I can't wait to wear this when it's not hot outside because it is a bit hot for right now. I've worn it like once, but it gets really long and drapes. Also has super long sleeves that can be scrunched up. It's just beautiful. The sleeves are a little bit sheer than the actual bodice of the top. Some other secondhand pieces. This is from a thrift store in New York called Search and Destroy. And I also get a lot of questions about what thrift stores I like in New York City. And I don't really thrift in New York that often because it's pretty expensive. So I find myself normally buying things on Depop or thrifting when I'm traveling. But I got this really amazing stitched jacket and it's lightweight. So I've still been wearing it in the summer when it's like 90 degrees outside. Although it is 100% polyester, so it's not the most breathable material. <laughs> Next are some things from Depop. So I got this grommet belt, which I know I already have another grommet belt that I think I showed in my last haul video. It's Margella, but it's not made like a normal belt. It basically snaps in the back, so it's not the best to wear with everything. But this will actually go into my belt loops. And I got this from a seller named Internet Girl on Depop. I also got this white tie top on Depop. I will try to have the seller's name down below. Very beautiful. I've been wearing it with my Shockmas sun hat and some black cropped flares and sandals. And it's just so perfect. And I got this for $18, I think which is amazing. Lastly, I have a few sort of basic pieces from and other stories. The first is a pair of trousers and these are made sort of to look like the really trendy sweatpants <laughs> that are happening right now, but they're actual trousers and they don't have weird elastic at the end or anything like that. So they're actually really flattering on. Then I grabbed two tops from and other stories and the first is just a gray tank top. I love their basics because they're not too expensive, but I find the quality is really great. And the last thing I have to show you guys is a bit more of a statement basic piece, if that makes sense. And it actually has foundation on it, which is great. But this is a shoulder pad tee, and I wore this in my recent outfits video as well. I guess. My main complaint is that the shoulder pads are kind of visible from a few different angles. I probably should have tried it on in store, but I was in a bit of a hurry. Besides that, it's really fun. And that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.